Um, 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 I'm continually surprised, really, on the PhD course. Yeah, it was the availability to like funding and um, resources, um, which not a lot of other universities have. So I requested a confocal microscope in my department and we've got it. And I think that's quite a privilege to have because it makes my life so much easier than traveling to other departments to use um, um, resources, which takes um, safe time. Today, one of my lecturers sent us an email sending us a live stream to a volcanic eruption happening in Iceland. And she was sending us this detailed email, like breaking down the facts of what we've learned in lectures, which I found pretty cool and mind blowing to see something that's happening right now relating to exactly what I'm learning in my course. A, a way of study is definitely the supervision system. Um, so I remember when I was in, in first year, um, the fact that I was then being supervised by people who were literally like leading in their field and I would be sat either in a room alone or with one other person, um, just with that one professor who's literally like, who's named on all the textbooks. I think in first year, one of our lecturers, I think he discovered the sodium potassium pump or something. And, that, and we've been learning about that since GCSEs. And it was like, wow. <laughs> Yeah, it was amazing to hear like what he was doing, where he discovered it. It was really interesting. Yeah, that was quite mind blowing. Professor Ibbotson is my supervisor. Um, so often I'll read two or three of his articles for a supervision and then like be able to speak to the actual person that, that wrote them about his work. And I think that's really fascinating and also helps sort of humanise these materials you're reading because you're meeting the person and understanding him as, a, as an actual person, not just an academic. Um, and that is, that is really cool. And that's sort of those moments where you're like, oh, actually I'm at Cambridge and this is a big deal. Because I kind of put pressure on myself when I first got here to never um, extend an essay deadline. And then it got to second term and about halfway through second term of first year. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. My doss was like, just ask for an extension. Like, it's fine. Like, no one's gonna crucify you. This is not school. You don't have to stick to strict deadlines like that. And that's another thing I love about Cambridge, the flexibility around your work schedule. You get to book your supervisions. You don't get to book your lectures, but aside from that, you can book your supervisions. You can set your essay deadline lines and you can really make it work around you so that you do have time to do things that aren't work which we all love doing. I think especially with the social anthropology part of HSPS I thought it was really really fascinating how new of a subject it is because the lecturers emphasize very much that like it's a new subject there's room for improvement there's room for criticism and I didn't really expect to you know, be encouraged to criticise what I'm studying or, I don't know, I guess it put me in the position of like thinking I could be the next generation of thinkers in this subject, which is really cool and I like no one's ever encouraged me to think that way before. So something that my DOS really pushes is that we can sort of write on whatever we want to for our lectures that week and that was like, that's an amazing thing as an English student, especially coming from A level where it's very much like that is the question you're given in the exam and you don't really get much choice. So you have to write on basically any book as long as it's in the remit of the paper and anything you find interesting. Like I wrote something on vegetarianism in John Milton and I just thought that was so cool. I wrote an essay using a piece of literature as a lens, which in maths education, as you can imagine, is, is a relatively unusual thing to do. Um, but I'd read a book that seemed to provide a perfect kind of intellectual way into the topics I was discussing. Um, and very pleasantly, I found that my supervisor enjoyed it, uh, got it and thought it was a really good essay. And that I did find quite surprising, but a lovely one really.